can't forget what you were about to say, but still remember every word of a random song from years ago. That's no accident. It was brain science. The work. Our minds are wired for patterns. Rhymes, rhythms, and repetition create predictable structures, and your memory loves predictability. It's a version of chunking, grouping information into neat, easy to recall blocks. Sherlock Holmes, the master of deduction, understood this instinctively. In the original canon, Holmes describes his mind like a well-organized attic. Only the most useful information is stored, carefully structured for fast retrieval. He didn't just memorize facts, he organized them into vivid connections. And rhythm is one of the most powerful tools for that. Today, modern neuroscience backs this up. When you rhyme, you trigger what's called acoustic encoding. Your brain grabs the sound pattern, not just the words. And even better, you activate dual coding, storing memories both as sounds and as meanings. That's like installing two memory apps instead of one. If you want your mind to be quick and bright, tie your facts to sound and sight. Rhyme the thought and hear it sing. That's how memory grows its wings. Or, in the jungle you must wait until the dice read five or eight. These little things stick out due to the power of acoustic encoding. That's why kids remember nursery rhymes. It's why ad jingles stick. It's why you sing the same song every time you go through the alphabet. It's why you might still randomly sing the theme song of a cartoon you haven't watched in 20 years. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? Don't admire my, my tonal brilliance for too long. Holmes level memory isn't about brute force. It's, it's art. It's rhythm. It's using mental blueprints like rhymes and patterns to build a palace of knowledge. The next time you need to remember something, something big, sing it, rhyme it, wrap it in a rhythm. Upgrade your memory the Holmesian way. Smart, elegant, unstoppable.